Hey guys, what's up? Alexei Rivera here and uh, I'm showing you a couple of things to fix the small annoyances that came with One UI 2 upgrade with Android 10 for Samsung devices like the Note 10 and the S10. Uh, normally most of these features are pretty good, I have no complaints here. Uh, but there are some niggles, especially if you're like me who is a power user, uh, particularly in the line of smoother animations because they're not smoother. They're more, as you can see, the playful touch right there. They're more kind of annoying playful touches than, than uh, what I would like. So here's my S10 Plus. Here is a comparison phone, which is the A50s. Uh, with uh, One UI 1.0 Android 9. Uh, so I've updated this to Android 10 already, One UI 2. And I'll show you some of the annoyances of this UI. Obviously, uh, most of the features, the brand new features of the UI is very nice. But you will notice the animations have been ridiculously slowed down or ridiculously amped up to 10. As you can see right there, that is one of the newer animations. This will thing compared to old animation, which is just a fade in with a short uh, sort of blow up fade in. Look at this, okay? So open and look at how slowly that thing opens. And once you switch out of that, go home again, it has this little ball and turns into a ball and sort of bounces up and down first. As you can see right there, versus the old UI, which gives you just the fade out. Um, I know that is a small niggle, but it really slows down your UI use. For example, look at this. I, it's just, what, what is that? Just give me the app. It's, it, I'm, I'm not 10 years old. So uh, yes, I am really pissed off. Uh, but it's, this is typical with a lot of Samsung devices or a lot of Samsung updates. Uh, it's like, I would say two steps forward, one step back. They love, they love their animations. We had a good base of operations with One UI 1.0 where they did not do too many animations. They were simple animations, did not bloat the animation so much. But with One UI 2.0, they bloated the animations to extreme levels. And this is the first time I've ever needed to actually address the issues with these animations it's ridiculously bad now so of course you can uh, you can you can sort of get around it you can sort of like adjust to it like just you know maybe slow down your train of thought by going like okay uh app opening app opening switching switching that animation is just ridiculous now it just it you know what it does it removes your, uh, so look at that, it just bounces up and then down before the Facebook name shows even, I can even like do stuff before it ends. I can literally snap my fingers like three times before it like, what is that? Oh, see, come on Samsung, this is the default and this is the first time I've had to enable developer options to change the animation speed. Where is that? I know I'm, I'm maybe I'm ranting too much, but come on, Samsung, get this stuff. I, I want to say a bad word, but oh my God. So we're going to change the window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. This is going to help a little bit, but not fix everything. So um, oh, one of the new features is this uh, new uh, sort of back motion you can use, which is the new one uh, sort of Android 10 version of back which is swiping from either side of the screen. Anyway, um, as you can see, by that is in the developer options. I'll explain to you how to get there. So to get developer options, that is a hidden menu. You go to your settings here and your software information and just hit build number several times, okay? And I, I know I just showed you a bunch of my information on my phone, don't, I don't care. Um, so once you get to developer options, you scroll down to animation scale uh try 0.5 uh off is a little bit too much you know it just blinks stuff in and out uh but animation scale 0.5 sort of speeds things a little bit 
speeds things a little bit. It's still kind of a gaudy, really, really distracting animation. As you can see right here, distracting, distracting, distracting. Just show me the information. But no, it's distracting, distracting. And then this still takes a long time. The swipe up, the home gesture still takes forever. See? Three snaps of a finger before the Facebook name shows up. That's ridiculous. Okay, so um, one way to do to get rid of that is go to settings, type in animation. Oh, so the one more an annoying thing that I'll teach you how to get rid of is this little bar on the bottom, which I've already removed. Anyway, you can look for reduce animations. You can click on on that reduce animations, um, and then that sort of helps, but not when you press home. So it redu it actually removes the animation when you open apps, okay? That's the only thing it sort of does. But when you press home, the app still sort of whoosh, whoosh like that. Goes into this kitty bouncy mode, which is so stupid, okay? Samsung, why are you doing this? We're not 10 years old, okay? So type animations again on your settings search. And then you can completely remove animations by going here. That is in the accessibility menu. And that still has this stupid bounce animation. Stupid. Nothing I know fixes that. But you can sort of, you know, the rest of the UI is slightly faster because you've gotten rid of the other animations. And by doing that, you've completely turned off the animations. This, this little whoop, that what, whoop, what, what is that? that? That looks like the bouncing ball when you're singing a song in Blue's Clues. Hey, where is my dog in my papa? Here, it, look, there is my dog. What, why, why would you do that, Samsung? <laughs> anyway, uh, the rest of the features are nice. Uh, one way to sort of, uh, what is that, keyboard? All right, so here's what I'm talking about. You go to settings, notifications, oh, sorry. Settings, display, and then scroll down to navigation bar. And you notice there's nothing going on over here. You see there's a new option here, show button to hide keyboard. When you turn that on, your keyboard turns into a piece of crap. Turns into this piece of shit. I have to swear for the this piece of shit. Where this a button? What? What? Come on! This, I can't type like this. There's a big hole on my screen. What is this? What is that? What is that? Well, come on! Oh, bouncing ball! Bouncing ball, bouncing ball, love you, love you, bouncing ball. Ugh. So, yeah, Samsung sometimes, you, you really piss me off sometimes. Uh, display, navigation bar, turn that piece of off. And now you can type in peace without this big bar interrupting you. Um, so the bouncing ball is here to stay, friends. Whoop, be whoop. Whoopie whoop whoopie whoop look 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 sorry my screen is on the yeah Samsung fix fix your fix your <laughs> fix your uh, rotation oh my god okay so home that's that's what it should do that's what it should do that's what it should do. Don't give me What's next, huh? A camera that turns into like, oh, a camera? What if we press a camera and then a camera shows up on the screen like, what else? What kind of animations do we need, Samsung? Tell me, because I don't, what, why, why? Alexei Rivera here. That is my rant. Hope that helps you out a little bit. Get rid of the stupid animations on Samsung One UI 2.0. It doesn't completely get rid of it, but hopefully you've gotten rid of at least a few of them. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.